Trial resumed Monday for jailed Washington Post reporter Jason Rezian. He's been held in Iran for more than a year, accused of espionage. Yesterday marked the second closed-door hearing in his trial. His mother, who so far has not been permitted in court, spoke out while her son was testifying. I just know that my son is innocent. As his mother, I wanted to come and show my support. Six months ago, I was here, and they told me, leave and come back for the trial. I came back a month ago. I'm here for the trial, but they're not permitting me to see him. Elizabeth Palmer joins us by phone with the latest from Tehran. Liz, you've spoken to his mother several times. Any sense of how yesterday's hearing went? It's being reported Jason defended himself in English. The hearings are secret, and even Jason's mom, Mary, wasn't allowed in. In fact, she was uh, left in the waiting room on the lower floor of the court, and nobody came to brief her at all. Uh, the reports that the defense had begun uh, and that Jason's lawyer spoke and Jason also spoke in English came out of the local Iranian media that is close to the hardliners. They're the only... Uh, people who are getting any information at all about what's going on inside the courtroom. Liz, uh, Jason's trial comes in the midst of negotiations with Iran over its nuclear program, and many are saying and have inferred that perhaps uh, this may play a role in his trial. Are you hearing that on the ground? Nobody knows. Iran is in a state of political flux. It is very secret, and particularly the judiciary allied to the hardliners is very secretive. The place is rife with conspiracy theories, and one of them is that uh, Jason was arrested in order to derail the nuclear talks, to embarrass Iran's president, who's in favor of the deal, uh, and to try and sour them. But that's a theory like any other. Um, I have heard from people close to the case that the hardliners may want to trade an Iranian in jail in the U.S. Mm. for Jason. Uh, whatever the truth is, uh, we just don't know yet. And Liz, are, there, are the circumstances of the closed-door hearing expected to change? And what are you hearing about Jason? How is he doing? I don't expect that the trial will ever be made public. We may never even know what it was really all about. Um, that's been the case with other Americans jailed here for a short time and then released. Uh, Jason is allowed to have a phone call with his wife once a week, and he was able to see his mom uh, a few times while she was here. He's lost a lot of weight. He's had problems with his teeth and also his eyes. He's uh, feeling very isolated because no news of what uh, is going on in the outside world is reaching him. So he was very uh, cheered to be told that the world is talking about him, that he hasn't been forgotten. All right, Elizabeth Palmer in Tehran, thank you.